Hello everyone and welcome back to Students Gaming. This is Professor Twain uh, here with Professor KY and Tone. Hello. Playing Final Fantasy Tactics War of the Lions. We just defeated Argath, that silly son of a bitch. Good job. And now we're... going to do something. Yeah, he oh. did. He's cocky as ever. And now we're going to... Oh, we're going to get our money first. The battle is Because we won. have to loot his 20, undead gil. corpse. Yeah. Good guess. Nice. That would buy, like, one rune sword now. Because everything's expensive. I would like to save. Thank you. Now, we will fight Elmgore. Yeah, yeah, KY, that battle isn't in the original version. Oh, yeah, you you I never know. see... I never saw that at all. Yeah, you never see... What's, you would never normally see Argath again once you, yeah. he perishes in the chapter one. So wait, he perished? How did he come back? Somebody brought him back to life? Yeah, well, like, think about it. Elmdor, he, uh... Well, I guess... I think you hear about it. I can't remember. Elmdor died, too. Go, oh, yeah, because Tommy's like, I heard that you died. And he's like, I did, but I'm brought back to life, basically. So, like, that wow. group of dudes can do that, apparently. Although Elmdor looks a hell of a lot better than Argath did when he was brought back to life. Yeah, dude aged several <laughs> many, many years. <laughs> Plenty of wrinkles. Uh. Still had that elaborate quaff of hair though yeah he did i mean that's that's just so argath right yeah dude still has gel in his hair <laughs> yeah like you have no need for it anymore <laughs> dude. Even gap nine. your skin's like <laughs> rotting and shit you're like <laughs> yeah, oh i gotta keep my hair shit. looking nice <laughs> hell no what happened to your dap nine you fight a battle already lost i use dap seven Release Alma and end this vain struggle. That's how I get that little flip up in front. <laughs> Chuckle! <laughs> how could I release what I have never ha held, held, held? There are but ghosts within these walls. Literal ghosts, look! They're purple. That indicates that they are ghosts. But far be it from me to turn away the one bill to grace us with his presence. Okay. Okay, this it looks like some dark magic, because it's purple. Dark magic is always purple, by the way. You're probably right. Or black. Uh, KY, you want to give uh, this uh, monster a voice? Oh. Here, dying, join my legion of undeath. Your blood, the roses on unhallowed graves. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is Millie Duel, um, Bradbury. Uh, it's just the even, uh, it's just Bradbury, but with, with a girl's voice. The Marquis of the Demon. What devil is this? <laughs> yep, that's exactly <laughs> right. So remember, she was like, "Next time I see you, I'm gonna kill you." And then now she sees that Tommy was right about everything. Yep. Is she still gonna kill us? Presumably uh, no. no. Why does dude have an arm brace? Hey, hey I'm old Bradbury. Oh shit. Oh damn. Yeah, that wasn't smart of me. I mean the Bradbury. Thank you. <laughs> this this is the work of the R side. Ja. Do you believe me now? Your brother. Isilud learned this foul truth and died fighting it. You you speak true? Ja. My father, Formov, does he know of this? He's the fucking leader. I <laughs> I tried to cackle. Before me stands the seed of Formov's loins. <laughs> so much alike with brother Isilud. Both heirs of fathers, new men unpossessed. The sire's flesh, a vessel without flaw. <laughs> Dude, don't stutter. <laughs> My father's host to a demon. Did I stutter? Truth dawns within this child's naivety. Who once was hers, now kin to naught but woe. <laughs> Let not such trifles weigh upon you now. You long you shall know darkness deeper still. Oh my. And she's like, alright. So no, yeah, she doesn't fight against us, but she's also kind of used... Oh, she should Forgive be. Forgive me, Tommy. I took your word as us false. I thought you fought an enemy. I'm Elliot Dual Bradbury. 
I might have done the same in your place, but now let's avenge your brother's death. Dude's super understanding, even in the face of having to That's why she fight. stayed in the back row. Like Damn, chunk. everybody asleep? Yeah. Hey, there's a battle uh, going on, guys. Taking, taking yeah, the nap. it's unfortunate. Oh, actually. Let's see what Holy can do to this motherfucker. Some shit, hopefully. Let us see. This seems good. Yeah. Uh, two, 300 damage seems good. Kill, dude, dude, hit my guys. Come on. And that'll wake them up. Yeah, if they get hit, they'll wake up. But no, they're just going to attack her so that my dudes stay asleep. What a fairly competent AI. Right. <laughs> and she's not doing anything for some stupid reason. I always liked her outfit. So yeah, cool. it's cool because it's still like that. The armor on the cloak. The the like the knight templar uh, yeah. outfit. Yeah. But you get one of them now. Oh, okay. What to do here? He stabbed the shit out of me. Eighty-eight. Damn, that'll be 288 keys. 288. Two, oh, okay. 288 keys. It's a lot. Yeah, it's a long piano. <laughs> I need to not die. Because Twain is just beasty, but he has like no hit points. Because he's just wearing a cloth. There we go. A Good one job, cloth. Uh. Seriously? Doom. So you put all my dudes to sleep and then you put them in doom. That is fucked up, sir. I know. And then he's gonna go hide? Yes, that's what he does. Because he's a Bia Bia. That is a competent AI. Why is he acting yeah, like, is... a, like a Bia Bia? Bia. Bia. Okay, okay. Um, you know what? We're gonna have to wake these dudes up. He's outside of the club and I called him a punk. <laughs> Just, uh, I don't want them to turn to stone, though. That would be most bad, but they need to wake up, otherwise they're just going to sleep until they die. Can you throw a stone at them? Of course. Oh, fuck. Of oh, well, course. Only one of them stone. And it's just Mirabelle. We're good. Mirabelle is pretty integral to my strategy here, because she's fast AF. Don't worry. Hit her with a soft. I don't have items equipped. Damn. Oh, well, Twain with the block. And I need uh, Tone to just holy the fuck out of this dude. Dude sidestepped him at a medium speed. <laughs> oh, that almost uh, hit me. <laughs> yes. Oh, you guys did it at the same time. We did. Yes. 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 Exactly. Um, shit. Is Reray's a. Uh... I don't think I can get to him with my teleport to hit him this turn with Tone, so we'll just de-stone her. Be unstoned. I was just kidding. <laughs> oh man, that was, that was a good day. That was <laughs> that was a good day. Was um, shit. I don't know if. We'll just jump and see what happens. Hope for the best. Oh god, they're just, just one space forward. I mean, just, I, the AI is pretty good. They seem to know what they're doing. I wonder if she's still doomed. We'll see. Uh, no, she's not. That's awesome. Throw something at him? I can, but will it hit him? It will not. Because that fucking th chest high wall is in the way. That appears to be a crypt of some kind. Or a, like, a, like a stone coffin. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think you are right. Are some zombies going to come out of there after we kill everybody? Uh, I don't think so. They will command brains. Fresh brains. Only. Brains. Brains. Fresh organic brains only. Uh, yeah, uh, Hip hipster zombies. Preserved brains. 
grass, cage, grass-fed brains. Cage-free brains. Cage-free. Cage cage-free <laughs> brains. <laughs> Tommy hasn't gone for, like, ever. Tommy. So, I won't go into details. Okay. Ooh, this should be good. Actually, I'll just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Well, now you're going to just have to forever so, wonder what Tone was going to say. I don't want to ruin anybody's day, but I read a story about cage-free eggs. And, like, the lives that these cage-free chickens live. Mm-hmm. It's probably only marginally better than the no, cage birds. it's horrifying. Really? It is horrifying. And I will not go into details right now, mm-hmm. but I will say that if you are interested in being horrified... About the worst possible existence a chicken could have. Oh my god! Is, is is it worse than the normal like caged bird? Because I've yeah, been heard yeah. that they they, they, they pack it's, them into the cages with no room to move, and then I heard the cage free ones they just do it in like a larger area, basically. It's far worse. And if you feel like being horrified, read about cage free chickens and and the lives that some of these hens. I don't feel yeah. like I would like to be horrified. No, you know, it's it's it's. But but I, uh, I read it and I was and like, I dude, eat, I'm never eating a cage free chicken, I, like cage free egg. You know what? I, I eat organic cage free eggs like a lot. You pay a lot of money for that shit, and you are contributing to <laughs> the the <laughs> devastation, the, the the terror of of a lot of these chickens. Mm. I mean, people say chickens aren't that. You smart, know, I feel like you. I I feel like it can't. It can't be that difficult and costly to treat a chicken with some fucking decency. Why do they have to do it like this? You know? I don't understand. I mean, it is costly. I mean, more costly. I mean, you're buying a dozen eggs for less than a buck. I have never bought eggs for less than a dollar. Have you ever bought non-cage-free eggs? Yes. For I think it was like $2. Like $1.99 or something. Probably. Where are you buying your eggs? Dude? The grocery store? Like, okay, 149 okay. You know, I don't know. You can get eggs for less than a dollar. You can get a dozen eggs for less than a buck. I am the world's but, worst but, chopper, apparently. The thing is, what I read about cage free eggs, it could have been, it could have been an exaggeration. Mm-hmm. Uh, it could have been untrue completely, but what I read horrified me, and I'm like, I'm never buying cage free eggs ever again. Yeah, you'll have to link me, because... Uh, and I'm not like, uh... A big chicken advocate, mm-hmm. but like um, it's just just it's disturbing. Well, I, I knew a, I, a couple things. I mean, I I had initially read an article that said that you know you th- you know when you buy cage eggs, you think you're you're getting eggs from ethically treated chicken. I've heard that That's basically instead like. of putting them you know four at a crack in a cage with literally no room to move, they're you know it's in a larger area but there's still no room to move so it's okay. almost no difference okay, okay wait, before we continue can you read the line Hashma, bring order here where i have failed okay continue <laughs> so yes but this was this what was i read years it's, ago. it's not about how the humans treat the chickens but it's mm. how surprisingly how the chickens treat the other chickens that they are oh. in a space with. Interesting. That they're not. I guess that they, they don't have their not own. Feel as bad. They don't <laughs> have weird. They don't have their own cage anymore. They're in in a larger area with other chickens. Right. So shit happens. Oh yeah, yeah. no, isn't it like 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 rapes and assaults? So like when you let humans live with each other. No, I'm just kidding. Jesus Christ. Uh, okay, let, let's read this line and then end the episode. Or this. My mind goes to think such evil power lay concealed within this tiny crystal. These holy relics of the church, I thought them no more than strangely colored stones. I knew not that they sought to work two miracles through them. It was a terrible choice of voice for her. <laughs> the truth was kept well guarded from you and Isanut alike. But that is the Bradbury sister. I mean. Yes. Even Wigraf knew not of the true nature until he became a Lukabi. It is as I thought. Lord Falmarv guides even the High Confessor's scheming to their ends. What is it they wish? Ah, uh, I cannot see their ends. If we are to judge from real business, they possess power enough already to drive an army to its knees. Yet still they do not use it, or even flaunt it openly. There must be a reason, and that reason is our answer. 
Should they stay their hands for something? The Lukavi are cruel and wicked and cannot be felt by men. Every tale and legend paints them the same. So they do, but I have seen these monsters slay. You just killed one. They do not appear to be undying demons of which the legends speak. No, like seriously, they just killed one. <laughs> legends are about stories and battles with Eastern Town. Maybe the Lukavi are no more than ordinary fiends? We just... Let us pray that you are right. <laughs> Ah, <sighs> yes, that's exactly what we just proved. I trust your side to you, but I ask a favor in return. What is it? Take me with you. I must know that my father is as good. <laughs> and there is not another thing I would know as well. What is that? My father did a puzzling thing. Your father has done many puzzling things. Mr. Bradbury, he gave me the Capricorn Stone to Lord Isidite, but I cannot begin to fathom why. He gave his audience stone to my brother. That's what it said. Divine. All right, so we've got unyielding blade. Melia duel in our party. Yes, and on the next episode, students of gaming. We will not be using her. We no, we will not be using any <laughs> special characters. We might use our equipment that saved the queen's pretty baller. Uh, but yeah, until next time, everyone. Class dismissed.